Welcome to our WPI Athletics family. By now you've heard about the NCAA and the responsibility that comes along with being a student athlete. In order for you to practice and compete, we all need to be on our game. Following the rules is a shared responsibility between you, your coach, and the athletics department. On the flip side, if we don't follow the rules, there are consequences. Today we're going to discuss how to navigate NCAA rules on the road to victory. By this time, you filled out several forms. The student athlete statement affirms that you, to the best of your knowledge, are eligible to practice and compete. By signing the drug testing consent form, you agree to abide by the NCAA drug testing standards relevant to your sport. When you sign the Buckley Amendment consent form, you authorize to release your protected health information. The next stop on the road to victory focuses on academics. The NCAA requires student athletes to be registered full time. In most cases, this means you must be enrolled in 12 semester credits to be eligible to practice and compete. If you drop below full time, an email will be sent to you, your coach, and the athletics department. So now that you've filled out your forms and registered full time, you need to be cognizant of your amateurism status. Because of your athletic ability, you may find that others want to reward you for your success. Last summer, the NCAA established an interim name, image, and likeness policy, or NIL for short. Students may now earn compensation in the form of cash, goods, services, or in-kind benefits for the use of their name, image, and likeness. Students may not earn compensation for athletic performance or enrollment status. The athletic department supports students in their NIL pursuits. If you are presented with an NIL opportunity, contact the compliance office immediately and consult with the appropriate professionals. Remember to ask before you act. While the NIL has provided student athletes with many opportunities, it's important to remember that you may not accept an extra benefit. An extra benefit is any special arrangement or opportunity provided to a student athlete or their relatives or friends that is not available to the general population or student body. This can come in many forms such as a special discount, free or reduced cost, use of a tangible item, or gifts of any kind. As a general rule of thumb, if it's not available to the entire school population, it is likely an extra benefit. Let's go through a couple of examples. Say you're walking across campus to a local restaurant and the cashier notices your athletic apparel. She loves your institution and sport and provides you a free burrito for being on the team. This is considered an extra benefit and is not permissible. On the other hand, if you're walking across campus and see a sign outside of the local restaurant offering free burritos to anyone showing their ID card, you can accept that offer as it is open to the entire school population. Remember to call your favorite administrator so they can take advantage of the deal as well. Next up on the road to victory is recognizing your sports playing and practice season. The NCAA governs the length of your season. Your coach cannot instruct or observe you outside of that designated time. Remember that player-run workouts are optional and cannot be required or condition of membership. There is no reward or penalty for attending. As a varsity athlete, you cannot practice or compete on a club team in the same sport in the same year. Moving down the road, we come to recruiting. As a host, you cannot offer transportation, alcohol, or money to a prospective student athlete. Remember that if you develop friendships with your recruits, you may not publicly communicate with them via social media. You can, however, private or direct message them. Here's an example. You can see prospective student athletes commenting on social media posts, but there are no public replies. Remember, when in doubt, tap, don't type. We're on the home stretch. The final stop on our road to victory is the reminder of responsible behavior as a student athlete. While representing your institution at home or on the road, hazing is not allowed. Sports gambling and wagering is also a no-go. A wager is giving up an item of value, typically cash, in exchange for the possibility of gaining another item of value. Fantasy sports leagues with paid prizes are prohibited. Remember to think before you post on social media as your posts are a representation of you, your team, and your institution. In terms of ethical conduct, the NCAA requires student athletes to act with honesty and sportsmanship in all items. This means being open and honest with all the information you share 
and not influencing others to provide false or misleading information. To get to the finish line, we all need to consider all the stops along the road to victory. Following the rules as an individual, a team, and a department leads to success. So these are the NCAA rules. Now you will hear from your coach and WPI administrators on what we expect of you to be a part of our WPI athletics program. Also look for more information on our hashtag be the goat program to help you be the best for yourself and others. We at WPI respect all members of our community and actively seek ways to connect and support everyone every day to make this the best WPI community it can be. Let's have a great year at Goat Nation.